talking about the Brennan people, your people. Mm -hmm. See, they came from the border of County Mead, Kilkenny. But they came up here as soldiers in the last battle of the Cromwellian War. And the last battle was fought here in Donegal at New Mills, this side of Letterkenny. You probably passed that way yesterday. And they lost that battle. So the soldiers who were alive retreated. And that's when a lot of people came into this valley. Because strange enough, the Fun Valley here was the last place in Donegal to be. It was vacant, there was no people here hardly. All the people lived around the coast because of the fishing. And of course there were people in East Donegal because the land was much better. But from Bally Buffet to Glentis to Ardara, there were hardly any houses at all. But after this battle, the people came. They retreated, the soldiers retreated here. And strange enough, there was a good landlord here called Hamilton. And he gave them land. Of course, they had to pay rent. And they built their little cottages. But the Brennans and the Scanlans, they came from Kilkenny, Meath. My mother's, were, they were Scanlan. And the Scanlans and their Brennans were kind of first cousins. Because they were soldiers from the same area of Ireland. You know what I mean? From Kilkenny. Mead. Aye. But they discovered the Brennan people were great with horses. See, down that country is great for race horses, as you know. There. If you know anything about racing in Ireland, Kildare, you know the Midlands, they have the greatest horses in the world. So the Brennans were great breeding horses, training horses. And remember, the horses was the mainstay of every country in those days because there was no railroad. Actually, there was no roads hardly. The horse done all the work. Transport. Farm work. Everything. Then they discovered they were great at dogs. So they gave them special land over here in Shelligans. <laughs> special land that was good, fertile soil. And the rich people in Derry and Belfast and Dublin had them for breeding horses for, they came for hunting here in the summer months. And they used to send them hampers of dog biscuits. And in later years, even the third generation, your people that went to America, and the pub when they were having a drink, if they wanted to annoy them or make them angry or fight, they would say, to hell is you were reared and you had nothing, but you were reared in dog biscuits. <laughs> So the coats came off when they went to... Oh. It's an insult, you know? Yeah. Oh. Uh, but then they weren't trusted when the famine came. They weren't trusted over there. They were in charge of giving the food to the poor people who were dying. They had what they called the pottage pot. They had two pots, the soup pot and the porridge pot. And then they perfected another food themselves for people who were really ready to, nearly gone. And you know what that was? They mixed the oatmeal, they went around, 
some of the farmers didn't like them and they took some blood from the neck of the cows and they mixed it with oatmeal and that was your first ever invention of black pudding in the world Do you get that story? And this was the only valley that trebled the population with the famine. Every other valley in Ireland was wiped out because they had the food, they had the corn, and the landlord had the, had the three mills going day and night. Day and night, the mill was going. And to build those mills, you remember, they had to dam the river, the, the, the lakes. So they were able to use, the mill was fit to work all the year round. Mm -hmm. But the Brennan people were in charge of uh, dividing the food over in Shelligans. And why they were selected, I heard. They were very, very big, strong, tall, strong men. Because the people came in droves and the stronger people were tossing and keeping the feeble back. So the Brennans were fit to keep law and order because they were big and strong. They were mighty, peop mighty men. They were, yeah. Well, they were. Massive people. Strong. Even as yet, if you think about County Meath footballers, they're still strong, I'll tell you. They were just a strong breed of people. But they, there was a colony of them there on their own. There was an awful lot of them in it. Well, the Brenners were great workers. Oh, they were. And by God, when they could drink, they could, they could shift some. And when they went to eat potatoes, they could eat some spuds. <laughs> Oh, cool. big Daniel, he had the bloody pot. What <laughs> uh, would say? Oh, Christ, but Daniel came in. He was rest of had the bloody spot for the dinner. He had the bloody pot. <laughs> Healthy, big. They were big, strong, mighty. But the girls folk weren't so big, what do you know? Do you know why? Why? Big family, you see the boys rushed, grabbed all first and the poor girls had nothing. <laughs> no. I could see that. I see that sure. now. That's the simplicity of the old bloody thing. The yeah. girls were like the mother more, they were, they were like the Donalds, they were smaller. Oh, wow, they were smaller. <laughs> they were. They were. Okay. Because the men ate the bloody lot. They grabbed food quick, you see, and the poor girls were too slow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe me, I don't think. So, Ryan in English means nothing. It's just a name, R Y A N. But in the Irish language, it means oh, Ryan. Right, thank you so much. We're getting spoiled over here. <laughs> it means hard and tough. I'm going to wait now. You'll be stonehead. Because a <laughs> Tipperary team never won hurling all Ireland without the Ryans. Thank you very much. Mm, never. They couldn't win on all Ireland without Ryans being on the team. Because they are tough. Oh, no. This is Made of steel. Thank you. Sure. Yes. It means Ryan. Ryan. Oh, yeah, they said the rain lad, didn't you say Yeah. But then they called it rain in English, which means damn all. You know, the English are the Irish. So you should be called Joe Tough instead of Joe Ryan. I sure do. Right, we'll have a cup of tea now, folks.